Okay, so I am done with the kitchen. I am kind of happy with that. So I'm going to move on now to building my enchantment room, which I'm going to have down here. I'm BMC, this is Survival Minecraft, and I have a little help with me today. He's basically here to keep me company. Anyway, before I can do anything, I need to go and get some leather. I need to get some sugar cane. I need to get some wood and hopefully... No, oh, stop it. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm gonna have to kill you now. Oh, he's killed me. That- <laughs> I have never actually tried to attack an Enderman before. And I think it probably shows. I think- Oh, is he gonna- is he gonna be nice though and not attack me again? I didn't mean to look at you. <laughs> oh gosh. What a great way to start the video. Excellent. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna put that in there and shove that up there and then I'm gonna go and get my stuff. Where is he? Oh, he's put another- Oh, no. <laughs> I am not in a position to be fighting you. Right, back in a jiffy. Oh god, it's night time. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed first. Okay, so day 77 in my underground base world and yes. I am off to get some supplies. Oh, so I am back with all my stuff. And I don't know how long it took me, but I think it's day 95 now, so it did take a while. Now, most of the problem was getting those cows for the leather. Took a while. So I put some steps in. All dark oak wood. So over here, I've just put some black concrete and some little campfires in there with some dark wood slabs. And now I'm going to go... Over here, and this is the kind of the template of my enchantment room. So I've got some barrels here that are going to stay here. And in this one, it's got all the stuff that I need. I haven't made all the stuff yet. I'm going to do that in a second. Uh, but what I want to do first is go around. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to put this area here is going to be full of wool. All different colors of wool. And when I say all different colors, I mean black, purple, and red. And maybe blue. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on with that. And then I shall be back. Okay, so I filled this area up with colored wool. Well, dyed wool. And it looks really, really kind of claustrophobic in here at the moment. But the plan now is to put some campfires in. And I actually realized that I've done the ceiling too low. But I don't care. Doesn't matter. And I'm just going to put them on sticks. Now I'm assuming that they will not catch fire to the wall and burn my whole base down. That would be hilarious. So I'm just going to make a hole in there so the smoke is actually going up. Then I'm going to get rid of these so that they're floating here and there. I wish that you had campfires that had a much more attractive base, but you just don't. So that's just fine. So I'm going to put one here. And then I'm just going to put one more over here. Oops, in this corner. No. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness I've got another one. Because that's the really annoying thing about campfires. When you get rid of them, they break. And it's very annoying. And there we go. So you've got these floating campfires. And we're going to go back through here. And then you've got that. And that is behind your... Well, not yours. It's mine. Behind my enchantment room. Which looks like a pile of dirt. Because it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make an enchantment table and, um, I can't remember how to make them. Huh? huh. Oh, where's my obsidian? Okay, I'm just going to go and get my obsidian. It's up here somewhere. Alrighty, so I've got my obsidian and I'm going to just put it in here. And I can never remember how to do this, so I'm just going to go in here. There it is. Oh, I need a book. I need a book. My goodness, okay. I'm just gonna make a book then. No. Oh. So, I can't be bothered to remember five seconds ago to when I looked it up. So, there we go. And, no. What? Oh, I haven't got my diamonds. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's try that one more time. There it is. <laughs> Enchantment table done. Okay, so that's gonna go in the middle here because you have to have it quite close to everything else, which is it's very annoying. But there it is. Looks beautiful. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I'm going to make loads and loads of bookcases. And I don't have enough. You need to have, I think it's a 
I think it's 15 to get your full enchantment, but yeah, I'm not even close. So I'm just going to make a whole bunch of those, and then I'm going to put them where I want them. Okay, so uh, I have managed to make eight bookcases. That is so many. No, it isn't. Oh, it took me so long to find the cows, and then I managed to make myself a little tiny cow farm, and oh, it took so long, and I just thought I wanted to get on with it, so I got enough rate bookcases. Anyway, so I'm going to put a bookcase here. Um, and then I want to put a bookcase here. And then I'm just going to put another one up here because you can put them too high, I believe, so they still work. What I want to do here is put in some colored glass. So I'm going to do those colors. Oh, I need to, before I do that, I need to do this. And just put in some wool. And then plonk the glass up here. But what I want to do is get rid of these two here. And then we're going to have the two bookcases right there. And then you can see them through there, which I like. And hopefully, they are going to be good enough to send good vibes to this thing. And then I've got two more that I can put in at the moment. So I'm going to put those over in this corner. And then I can put the glass here. So let's just put the bookcases in there. Dig up this little thing here. Put some that stuff in there. And then I don't know what colors. It doesn't matter. And then the idea is, I'm going to have two bookcases here, three here, another two here, and then I'm just going to put glass on the top. So what I might do is just put like, uh, let's put a blue on that, and then like that. So I think it looks quite cool at the moment. I'm going to put some concrete in in a second. I'm going to dye some concrete, and then I'm going to have concrete all the way around here. So I'm just going to dig up this area here. And I actually don't know. I don't know whether to put concrete down here or whether to put... Some more carpet, because I think it looks nicer with carpet, and I like the texture of carpet. Okay, so I got some more black, and I have dyed my wool, so I got black and purple. And I'm just going to put it around here, in alternate patterns, like so. And then just fill in the gaps with the purple. I really hate how close and how kind of claustrophobic the enchantment room is. I'm sure there must be a way... I mean, it's nice having this open area. That, I think that makes it better. In fact, I might put one of the, um, maybe the bookcases here and then make this glass. Because, yeah, I could do that, actually. I think that might look nicer. So if I get rid of this and this, which would have been bookcases, and then put the glass, which I do not have on me, in there. Oh, should I put a black one in? I don't know. Probably wouldn't look very nice. Let me see. Oh no, I quite like that actually. In fact, I'm going to do black both sides. And the other thing as well is I need to get rid of this bit because this was just a little, um, little walkway so I could come in here and do that. So what I might do is put, I think I'm going to put chests in that area. Not chests, but barrels. And have them right, I'm going to have them here actually. Ooh, whoops. Got a crouch. Uh, all the way up to there. Right, so I'm just going to quickly do that. Make myself some... Ah, oh, thank you, Maggie. I'm gonna do it all. Oh my god. <laughs> that was more than I was expecting. Okay. If I just try taking that out, putting them here, and then having purple there. I think it will look so much better if it was black, but I don't know. So once I've got, so what do I need? I need three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen more leather. And then I need to get loads and loads of black to do up here. Mm, okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go and get myself loads of leather. I'm going to do it. I'm going to finish it now. I'm going to go and get that leather. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to put those in. I'm going to try and see if I can get enough black to do the ceiling. I don't know whether I want to do it concrete because it's got that nice matte finish. So I'm just going to put all this stuff in here. And I'm going to go and get what I need. Well, I got everything I need and I kind of finished it. So here it is, my little enchantment room. And when I say finished, I do have a few more bookcases I need to get. I didn't get enough leather, but that's okay. So I raised the ceiling in the back here, put some more glass blocks in just to make it look a little bit more open. I think it just felt too closed in. Um, I got a little frame here with an enchantment book in it. 
So I've got black concrete on the ceiling and then I've got the black and purple concrete down here and then I'm probably going to continue that up here onto the wall. Maybe have it in this bit here and then have, I don't know, some more wood paneling or something. And then I've got this section here. It's supposed to look like a door. Obviously it's not. And then up here I've got my secret barrel with all my stuff in it. My important stuff. And then I think that's pretty much it. Everything else is self-explanatory. But I'm really, I'm really happy with this. I think what I might do eventually is open out that room in the back there and maybe turn it into a little sort of magical sitting room with some more bookcases in it. And then you can see into the Chapman room from in there, which I think would be really cool. And then I need a door. I want to have a secret door and I don't know how to get these so that they open sideways. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it's not a thing. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon. The end.